Hello once again YouTube and welcome to another Halo Megablocks review by the SS Motion. Today we'll be reviewing the Anniversary Collection Battleground, which is item number 97519, is 61 pieces and currently retails at 10 to 15 pounds. Okay, so we'll start with the figures included in the set. First of all, we have two UNSC Marines. Now, these guys are actually made, um, well, the whole set is made in celebration of Halo 2 Anniversary, the brand new remastered game of Halo 2 that is coming, well, has already been released with Halo the Master Chief Collection. Now, it's an amazing game. I've played loads of it, and they released this set and the Shadow Convoy to celebrate the anniversary. And this set is really quite awesome. They've made these Halo 2 style Marines. Now the Halo Marine has already seen an appearance in new articulation in the Halo 4 design Marine, which came with the Alpha Pack and other sets like the Elephant. But seeing this really nice Halo 2 design Marine is great. We get the Marine in two different skin tones, a lighter and a darker tone, and they both have nice white eye detailing. I'm going to draw attention to this first of all. Mega are doing a new thing at the minute where they're actually hand painting the eyes on the figures. Now, this can go good or bad. Um, I have had some unfortunate reports that some of the eyes are really... Um, lopsided and uh, cross-eyed and things like that but these ones are really good I mean these eyes look great they look really in line and they give the Marines a lot of depth I think they look they work great in my opinion uh, like I said there have been reports of them being not so good but these ones are fantastic um, they come with some nice olive backpacks and their main tone is olive all the way through with this nice lime green on top the uh, armor is all removable. It comes in a, a few different pieces. First of all, if you remove the backpack from the back, you can remove the chest plate, which is really nice. It's sort of like a tack pack, and uh, that can go on. And, you know, it's it's a nice thing to be able to remove and put on all the figures. So the accessibility, you know, the customization is, is great. Uh, you can also remove the shoulder pads here, which are a brand new mold design. And you can also remove the tack belt here. Um, if we move the marine aside, you can actually pull it apart. It's very hard to, but it does come off. And it comes in these nice two pieces here. So it's a really nice design, very well thought out, and looks fantastic when it's built. And the marines are a great addition to any army, and just look fantastic. The new articulation really brings them alive and they look great. So we'll move on to the Covenant figures. So first up we have these Brutes here. If you have played the Halo 2 campaign, you'll know that at one point the Elites are actually overthrown as the protectors of the Prophets, and the Brutes take position as the main guards. But they do have these official Brute flags here. Now, um, I think some Brutes in the game do wear this flag. Please do comment in the description below, if they, uh, in the comments below if they do. But um, yeah, this these flags are fantastic. They come in three pieces here, a little hook which you insert into this pole here, and then a nice translucent flag here. They work really well, and they've, they've got these three uh, scars, which are nice printed detail, not stickers, and they insert into the back of the brute as so. Uh, these are both very nice. The shoulders um, are brand new moulds. Uh, the rest of it is just a standard brute, but they do look really good with this brown underlay, with nice black highlighting, white eyes, and purple armour. So those guys are fantastic and a great addition to any Covenant army. And they're also, they'll also look really good protecting the, uh, the new Prophets once I get hold of them. And then we've got the star of the show, Tartarus. Now, if anyone's played Halo 2, you'll know that Tartarus is a seriously cool dude. He's uh, one of the main commanders. Well, he is the commander of the Brutes, I think. And uh, he plays a very key role in Halo 2. So it's pretty cool that Mega ended up making this figure. I know it's a very, very highly requested figure. Um... I'll start with the one negative and then move on to everything positive, but I honestly don't feel like this head is quite as good as it could be. A lot of people have made alterations and paint edits, a few washes and highlights to it, which have made it stand out a lot more. But honestly, I think that the skin tone being one plain colour with no colouring for the teeth 
and no colouring for any highlights or shadows, really leaves it as a bit of a dull figure. It looks very good, and it's a brand new mould head, which is very appreciated, appreciated um, and does look fantastic, but on the other hand, there is a little problem with the lack of paint here. Other than that, it's a really nice figure. It's a main brute for the most part. It's got this nice new shoulder piece here and uh, this nice hair detail, which is great to actually look at. If you look at normal brutes, it's just one color. To actually have this nice uh, printed hair highlight gives a little bit of texture and uh, detail to the figure. So there's a little bit of room for improvement and it's a bit of a shame because Tartarus is an exclusive figure so we won't be seeing him again most likely. Things like Johnson uh, that they've released in the uh, the Shadow Convoy looks fantastic and when you do release a figure that pretty much will only make one appearance, like for example the Emil with the Mongoose, it's good to really put in your all and they Mega have done and they've made a nice new mould, brand new mould head but it could have done with a little more of a wash on the face, which I will do. Then you get this awesome thing. This is the coloured Gravity Hammer. Now, I would have paid the full price of the set just to have this in my collection. This looks fantastic. It's got a really nice colour scheme and really nice bronze highlights, which is a bit metallic. Looks fantastic. People have complained a little bit that they Mega didn't make an individual mould for Tartus's actual hammer from in-game, but... Uh, I can agree and disagree with that because you've got to look from Mega's point of view. They have made brand new flags, uh, brand new Brute armor, brand new Tartarus figure with molding detail, brand new Halo 2 Marines, and some of the weapons are unique. So you've got to understand that they can't do everything or they won't break even on the set, but it is a fantastic hammer at that. Really nicely detailed and a great colour scheme. If we move on to the other weapons that we get with the Brutes, we get one spike grenade, which is always appreciated. It's in pure black and is just really nice to add to the detail of the character because we haven't seen them in too many sets. And we also get these bad boys. These are translucent red plasma rifles. Now, that is pretty damn cool because, you know, we, we only normally see translucent uh, weapons with... Uh, obviously gummy figures from random packs to see them released with these brutes looks really cool There are some people that say why release a translucent weapon with a non-translucent figure I just think it looks nice. I know you talk about game accuracies But sometimes it does just look really nice and those dual plasma rifles if you follow me on Facebook have uh, mostly been spending their time in the hands of this guy the alpha red recruit so um <laughs> it looks really good in that but uh no i can't say that the weapons are bad in this set because they are really nicely detailed with the hammer and the translucent rifles i've got enough rifles to replace them if i don't like them and they are really nice when it comes to the unsc weapons we have a black standard assault rifle which is always nice although a little inaccurate to the game because the assault rifle was not in halo 2 and we also have the plain black rocket launcher, which is always a nice addition and some really great weapons. So for only 10 to 15 pounds, you do get a lot for your money. You get the brand new Tartarus figure, which is a great new mold and does look fantastic. Two brute miners in a really nice color scheme with red translucent plasma rifles and the brand new flags and an extra spike grenade. You get two Marines, which are a really nice new design and new mold and the assault rifle and rocket launcher do look fantastic. And yeah, I would strongly recommend you pick up this set, especially while it's still available, because I think this will be a short run being the anniversary set. And this was another Halo Mega Bloks review by the SS Motion. It's really nice to get some reviews out whenever I can between university work. I am working so hard with Blocks Fest 2015 and the Halo Mega Bloks Toy Mate. Well, not Halo as much anymore, but the Toy Mation Fest, um, which is taking up so much of my time. I thank you guys for my support as always, and thank you for introducing and welcoming people like like Tom from the SS Motion so warmly and yeah I'll be down in Portsmouth recording some videos with Sam next week so stay tuned for them and we'll see you next video